Hey, what's up, everybody? Manny V here with Steve Action Jackson, and welcome. The day has come. The sun is out. This is the Itacoachada Pro, sponsored by Pride. Uskit.com and Net. We are ready to rock and roll. Good morning. Bon yeah, dia. good morning. Here we go. Let's <laughs> do this. Jackson. We are here in Itacoachara in Niteroi, in the state of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. It's beautiful. It's about to go off today. Um, here, you're going to see the main things to know here at the break. There's five main spots. There's Prainha, the small, uh, or Little Beach over to the right. On the outside is Shock, the bigger swells, breaks over rocks. And then there's Pampu. The main places to keep an eye on today, though, are going to be up the middle at Mayu and to uh, the left at Kushtown. Uh This is where all the action is going to go down today, Manny. All right, check it out. The first heat has entered the water, and we are rocking and rolling. What you are going to see out here today, the conditions have actually gotten way better from the couple days past. The sun is out. Uh, offshore winds are starting to kick in. It is still a little messy. I mean, you get that after a rainstorm, uh, actually a squall. It's been crazy the last couple days. But the surf is still up. And I've been making the comparison of this wave to Pasquales and the wedge combined. Out in the water, we have conditions of six to eight foot bombs still coming in. So this is where we're at. In the water is round number one, heat number one. And this is what we're going to look at as far as the contest and the heats are concerned today. Yes, round one is a non elimination round in the showdown format. It's a, today we're going to have 40 minute heats based on the conditions, 12 waves max, top two waves. There you can see out in the water right now for round one, heat one, Ben Player in red, Jared Houston in white, Ider Luciano in yellow, and Daniel Fajara, the the trial list right and off the bat look at this ben player in the red jersey cranking a nice reverse off the top finding that inside section nice flip wow. right there right off the bat ben player putting a nice combination of maneuvers out in the water but look at this out the back i've been riding in white jared houston from south africa nice roll throws into a spin resets his line going going and he's going to get eaten up by the white water in the end of that manny all right so there you have it the two main players ben player and jared houston are facing off Eder Luciano and Daniel Ferreira, the two Brazilians down the water. So right off the bat, Ben Player and Jared Houston, a good little wave exchange to welcome you to the Itacochada Pro. Look at this, out the back, Eder Luciano. He there, driving down the line, not really line up the way he'd like, so he's going to duck out the back on that one, head back out to the lineup. It's, that was smart to duck out on that one because there's a lot of current, a lot of churning water on the inside, and paddling through that has been a real challenge thus far at this event for all of our competitors. 40-minute heats. What is the reason for that, Jackson? 40-minute heats because we've got big conditions, lots of current out in the water, and it's still a little messy. Like you touched on, we have the winds going offshore now, but it still needs time to clean up, but it's just going to improve through the course of round one here today. So... Uh, it, giving the riders a little extra time out in the water. All right, we do have some bombs coming in. And look at this, out the back, Daniel Ferreira drops in, holds his rail, maintains, comes out to the inside section, another airdrop, and another. And I'm telling you people, it's going to be tough out here for the trialists and also the top 24 to find that nice, clean shoulder. The young Daniel Ferreira from Copacabana in Rio. He's only <coughs> 16 years old. He's out there with the big boys. I know. He uh, comes to us from the trialists, and you actually are uh, living down here, Jackson, and he is uh, one of your fellow local riders now, Posto Cinco. Yep. Oh, my, look at that thing coming in. And that's what we're talking oh, about with heavy it's conditions. Still, it's still Look at that massive. set, Manny. <laughs> Holy. Uh, look at this. White and yellow. Who's going to get cleaned up? White is just paddling and stressing. That thing is an eight-foot, nine-foot bomb coming into the shallows of Itacoachada. I'm telling you, people, this place is heavy. That is not a good feeling look to at white. be on the inside and see a He's still not up. an eight-footer about to unload right in front of your face. And look at Ben Player ducking under this one, just making it under that one. I, You know what? If you don't know <laughs> the feeling of what it's like getting cleaned up by a massive beach break wave, these guys are feeling it. Look at Ben Player getting knocked off his board while he's duck diving. That's how much power this wave has here for the Itacochera Pro, sponsored by Pride. Uskid.com and net. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in for round number one, heat number one of the main event out in the water. Woo! And they can still see 
paddling back out, getting caught on the inside and having those set waves unload in front of you is like getting plowed by a dump truck. 40 minute heats, ton of time for you to regain your composure if you do get swept in, I mean, get knocked in and cleaned up by some of these big bombs. Ben Player slowly paddling back out in the red jersey. Once again, welcome to the Itacoachada Ita Pro, sponsored by Pride. Yusuke.com and Net. Everybody for tuning in. Thank you, David Antonio and the Portuguese now living in London. Julian, what up, dog, from the Gold Coast. Greg Hart in Australia. Timothy Whale is always tuning in. Tom, we know you're watching in Cardiff and in Bordeaux, France. Frederick, Jake in Gold Coast. David, we know you're watching. Thank you all for tuning in. We do have our Google Plus profile page open, so give us a shout out. Tell us where you're coming in from. Steve Action Jackson, Manny V here, bringing you the live feed from the Itaquachada Pro, sponsored by Pride. Yusuke.com and Net. Steve Action Jackson, I'm rocking and rolling with four coffees and three sugar free Red Bulls. <laughs> yeah, Manny's wired. I'm Trying to keep pace with them right now. Woo! They can see out in the water in red. One of our competitors signaling to the judges on the beach. I'm not sure if he's asking for time or looking for his score on his last wave, but um, can they hear that? We had that issue. We had the problem in the very first day of competitions in the trials, where the speakers were actually pointing out to the ocean, but the riders couldn't even hear the speakers or the horns, so I'm wondering if they can hear it out there. The only way we would know is to wait for them to come in or paddle out ourselves, so I didn't bring my fins with me, so I'm going to take a rain check on that one right now. <laughs> and we have scores from there that first are. round of wave exchange. Ben Player with the six on his first wave puts him in the top spot. He is followed by Jared Houston with a 4.88. Danielle Ferreira with a 1.5 on his first wave and Ider Luciano with a 1.13. So there you have all the riders on the board with their first wave under their belt. Ben Player getting the best of the exchange and they're out there waiting for the next round. Interesting, a six point ride for Ben Player's wave. There wasn't a massive wave, but he was able to make the combination maneuvers all the way to the inside. So that should be taken note. And I think that's what all the riders are listening to are the scores being thrown out to see what they can do. I think what we saw in the trials is a lot of riders are waiting for those big sets that weren't really coming th through. I mean, Hermano Castro, he waited I don't know how long to his heat, through his heat. He is a top competitor here from Brazil, but he wasn't able to put together those uh, you know, clean rides, and he ended up not making it through his, his heat. Well, unfortunately, during the trials, the riders waiting for the larger set waves, most of the set waves were coming through as big, giant, angry closeouts. So uh, it was difficult to uh, pick and choose out there. There again, as on the screen, you can see the current situation out in the water. Ben Player with a <coughs> six on his first wave puts him into the lead. A solid way to start off the heat. We have uh, over 32 minutes remaining. Again, we're doing 40-minute heat to uh, give the riders a little extra time out there to fight through the currents. The paddle back out after riding a wave can be really difficult, to especially if you get caught on the inside, as we touched upon. All right. Again, welcome, everybody. For This is the live feed of the Itacoachada Ita Pro, sponsored by Pride, Yusuke.com and Net. A shout-out to everybody who's tuning in and giving a shout-out to us. Jake Morgan tuning in from Byron Bay. Charlie Harris, Port Macquarie. Port Macquarie it always has like, I don't know, four or 500 people always tuning in for the live feed. So we appreciate it. Ben Player out in the water waiting patiently. Finn McCrew, McCrew and Josh are tuning in from the sunny coast. Samuel Ross, thank you for tuning in from Tazzy. Zach, we know you're out there with Chainsaw. And uh, Cheris in Port Macquarie. Again, Port Macquarie is just unloading. Everybody on the shout out list right here, Google Plus. Jason Hollingworth, George Rigo, and Kevin Lang. We know you're watching. Thank you all for tuning in. Manny V and Steve Action Jackson will bring you the live feed of round number one of the main event. Currently in the lead in this heat, Ben Player in the red jersey. Yeah, there you can see Ben kind of cruising the lineup along with his fellow competitors. Um, ben, the two time world champion, winning titles in 2005, 2006. Um, he's out there looking to do pretty well. I know he's recovering from a leg injury. Uh, you were in uh, Arica with him. Uh, give me a little more information, Manny. <coughs> what happened with Ben is uh, actually before arriving to Chile, he was out uh, uh, riding on a free surf session and just, um, I think they call it cork or cork or I don't know. He messed up his hamstring somehow 
and it really bruised it. He actually went through the entire Arica Chilean challenge with a hurt leg. It was all bandaged up. He actually made a plastic protection guard out of some old three liter Coca-Cola bottle. And uh, he just wanted to make sure he was rocking and ready for that event. But here he is, he's fresh. He was, uh, you saw him stretching. He was very focused. He had his headphones on. Ben Player, he's, he's hungry. He's one of those competitors that wants another world title, a third world title under his belt. Yes, while I was cruising around the competitors area taking behind the scenes photos, which you can see in the IBA website's photo gallery, That's right. Ben was stretching out, headphones on, he looked determined, he looked focused, and uh, he looked like he was ready to go for today's conditions. Look at this wave out the back, looks like there could be a set coming in, Blue taking a look. And blue, here's who we got in the water. Ben Player in red, Jared Houston in white, Danielle Ferreira come to us from the trials in the blue jersey, and in the yellow jersey, Eder Luciano. So the two Brazilians, Danielle and Eder, are now facing a, a uphill battle against the two guys who already have one solid wave under their belt. Yes, the season tour veterans, Ben Player, the Australian, Jared Houston, the South African, they've been around for... A well, Jared's been around for a few years. Ben's been around for a while. They know, their thi th they know the deal out in the water. Uh, Ider has been doing pretty well the last couple of years, testing Ooh. the waters with the Ooh. IBA. Wow. Jackson, <laughs> did you see that thing unloading on the inside, spitting and everything? So there are some unreal shoulders out there. But we just hope this afternoon the rain squall it stays away. I mean, the last couple of days have been pretty intense. I mean, last night rained all night. The day before, it rained all night, and the conditions were absolutely heavy. But here we are. We need to get, we need to start rocking with this contest because uh, what happens, I think the hardest position is the contest director who makes the call to run or not run. The reason why, they only have a limited amount of time to hold the event. So he's got to look at the forecast, look at what's in front of him, and then make the call. I think a good call was made to run at least one round of the main event here at the Itaquachada Pro, sponsored by Pride, USEC.net, and .com and net. Look at some of these waves coming in, Manny. Woo. Just lines on the horizon. You can see the swell lines pulsing in. The swell's a little smaller than originally forecast, but uh. still pumping. There you can see the crowd on the beach gathered. I don't know Not if you can really see it behind the bushes, but there's an entire crowd up on the street behind the bushes as well. Nothing like a nice stogie in the morning here in Bra Brazil, which is rare. I hardly ever see people smoking. Everybody's pretty health conscious here in Brazil. And <laughs> here we are zooming in on the one guy who smokes cigarettes. Look at this. Little frothy, little bumpy out in the water. There's what happens is uh, it's almost like a bay here. So you're going to have a lot of water coming up into the ocean and on the sides of the on the sides of the beach, and it's going to find it, the water needs a way back out into the ocean, and these rip currents are pretty hectic. Yes, this spot is very open to the Atlantic. It picks up a lot of swell. It's one of the most consistent spots here in Brazil. So I mean, it, it's easily one of the most consistent spots in the country. The wave magnet. Yes, I mean, on average, you see it break three to six foot here, and you get swells up to about 15 feet or five meters here, which are very dangerous, very lethal if you're caught in the wrong spot. I mean, we, we've seen guys that are veterans out here get rescued by the lifeguards by helicopter, get pulled out of bad situations. <laughs> yeah, if you Google search Mother Day, Mother's Day, Itaquachara, you will find one of uh, one of the healthiest bodyboarders, a young bodyboarder, 2010 Latin America, uh, actually 2011 Latin America champion, uh, Kalani Latanze, who you'll see later in this round. He was actually rescued from this uh, from this wave, but it was 10, 15 foot. I mean, he was actually uh, lucky to come out of there alive. Here's a current look at what's out in the water. Again, these are 40 minute heats, 12 wave max, top two waves are scored. This is a non-elimination round. Two riders will go to round three. Two will go to round two. And what, there you can th what is that? Gobos. There Gobos. you can see one of the beach vendors cruising the uh, sands with selling drinks and snacks. You see a lot of those guys on the beaches down here. You can buy everything from drinks and snacks to sunscreen, soccer balls, inflatable kiddie pools, you name it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I don't know why they don't do that in the States. I mean, that they would make so much money if they were able to just give a permit 
and sell whatever you want on the beach, but you have to carry it. So my personal favorite, Manny, is when the beach vendors are cruising around selling frozen acai. Ooh, that hasn't happened yet because it's been raining every day. So hopefully the sun will come out for the next few days and the swell is on the forecast to drop just a little bit. So we are going to see more cleaner conditions as the event goes on. Again, 40-minute heat. Lucky for the riders, that's plenty of time to wait for that wave to come in. Here we are with the current standings. Yes, currently out in the water, Ben Player remains in the lead, still with just that one ride of a six holding him on top. Jared Houston in the white jersey with a 4.88. Danielle Ferreira with a 1.5 and Ider Luciano with a 1.13. Again, this is why we are having 40-minute heats today, giving the riders time. Uh, waiting for the right waves because there's a lot of closeouts, there's a lot of current to fight through. There's a lot of factors that went into deciding on 40-minute heats today for round one. And uh, you're seeing a perfect example why. You know, we're a good 10, 15 minutes deep into this heat, and each of our riders only has one wave under their belt. That's going to be a key thing to keep note. 40 minutes seems like a long time for one heat, but th with these conditions, that time could just absolutely disappear under your board if you're not cautious. So today, we are going to uh, finish off round number one of the main event. And just looking down, the, the heat draws is unbelievable. This is when you're going to see the big hitters, the top 24, PLC, Jake Stone, Roberto Bruno, and Leonardo Costa are coming up next. So strap in, people. It's going to be a long day of action. And I know some people like Charlie Harris and Chainsaw are tuning in for Port Macquarie. It is midnight over there. And we apologize for tuning in so late. But hang in there. Um, I would say... Get some Red Bull, get some coffee, do whatever you have to do to stay up because it's going to be an amazing day of serious bodyboard action. Asia Makeham, we know you're watching for Cindy Girl. Thank you for uh, the shout outs. Zach is always in there. And Liam, Jake, Morgan, and David, I already said what up, the Portuguese in London. So there you have it. The beach is out. The clothes is starting to get stripped down. And here is who is currently out in the water with 24 minutes remaining. Yeah, coming into this event, Ben Player from Australia ranked fifth in the world currently. Uh, looking to score the necessary points and improve upon that. There you can see Ben taking a look at that one. He decided otherwise, and that was probably a good call on his part. You're going to have to have a lot of luck on your side. Look at the current just pushing out that rip current right there where it's all choppy. It's, there's a little, there's a misconception right now of what an undertow is and a rip current is. A rip current is a current that just pulls you out into the ocean. It's all the water pushing up onto the beach and finding a way back out. An undertow, it's not, it, it's not gonna pull you down. What's happening is there's so much water moving that it feels like it's pulling you down, but it, all it is is a two currents combining and it's just one current moving out. Coming up next, there you have Roberto Bruno and uh, uh, Isabella Sosa. She is a women's competitor who took out the pipe event earlier this year. Jared Houston taking a look. Jared bailing on that one as it shut down on him. Um, yeah, as, as you were pointing out, Isabella Souza, former world champion on the beach, supporting her fellow Brazilian countrymen. And uh, there you can see BP on this one taking a look. Ben Player taking a look. And I mentioned it at the Rica Chilean Challenge that let's have an invitational. Let's have the top eight girls in, in, the, in the world show up on a Grand Slam series event like here and throw them out there for uh, so the world can see that these girls can put it on the line too. Uh, Isabella is one of those girls who will simply charge and go big. So hopefully we'll see more of them in the future on the live feed. So look at that rip current. That thing's intense. Yeah, when we've been talking about <laughs> how strong and how much force there is with the power of the waves and the currents, there's a perfect example. You can see a lot of water moving around out there, rippling up the face, waves doubling and tripling up, just angry, foamy, uh, the <laughs> heavy waves on the inside. Look at this, look at this, Jackson. Big sets coming in out the back and just in the rip curve. Probably not the place you want to be right now is Eric Luciano when the set's coming in because it's just going to give you a bumpy drop on down the face of the wave. And uh, is that your cell phone? Yes, it is. I just created. I just caused the uh, broadcasting <laughs> faux pas. Yes, turn <laughs> off that cell phone immediately. I think. Uh, I think you told your wife you're going to be working today. Yeah, but she decided to call anyway. <laughs> Honey, I will give you a call back when I'm off the air. There you go. All right. So <laughs> here you go, Ben Player, taking a look at this one in the red jersey. He could be in a good position right now, but not much there for Ben Player. Shout out again to Elmo Ramos from Write It. 
He is currently in the Canary Islands. Uh, the Brazilian has uh, found another paradise. The Canary Islands will be there at the last stop on the 2012 IBA World Tour. Mauricio Pura Vida coming in from Manuel Antonio. Pura Vida to all the Costa Ricans tuning in. And Gil, what's up, brother? We are live. Thank you for tuning in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Itacochara Pro, sponsored by Pride. Yusuke.com and Net Manny V here and Steve Action Jackson laying it on the line for the live feed. Welcome. And here's a little uh, set wave coming in. Ben Player taking a look at that, but he's going to think otherwise as that thing starts to jack up and just get angry looking. April 22nd, 1989 is when our rider out in the water, Jared Houston, leading the charge, was born. Jared Houston. Is, actually, is in love with another top female competitor, Natasha Sagadia. Uh, Sargad <laughs> I always have trouble with her name, damn it. I believe it's Sagadia. Okay, she's from Puerto Rico. I apologize, lo siento, uh, mi hermanita, pero I need to look at your name to pronounce it properly. But Natasha and Jared Houston, one of those uh, celebrity, bodyboarding celebrity couples that uh, are very happy, and I can't wait to see them both in Puerto Rico. So you can yes, see, Manny, I love seeing this. The sun has come out, and so is the crowd. The crowd's still filling in on the beach. Um, the weather is has totally turned outside. The wind's gone offshore. The sun's come out. It's starting to warm up. The crowd is hitting the beach. We've got a good day in, fr in front of us. Yeah, it looks like the wind is actually coming in from the side, the si more of a side shore right now. It wants to go offshore. I think uh, once the sun comes out fully, it, it will turn the winds offshore here. But uh, for now, we do have a little bit of mex messy conditions out there. I mean, the last two days, it's seriously, it's been out of control. And I have to give props to the, the webcast production crew who have maintained and uh, only kept their gray hairs to a minimum because their room right next to us has been possessed. <laughs> I mean, everything that could go wrong has went wrong in that room. I mean, windows were broken. Water was leaking. It's been crazy over there. Look at this. Jared Houston up and riding in the white jersey, drives off the bottom, gets a roll off the top, <coughs> and then that's going to be it for him on that one. Jared currently sitting in the lead with a 4.88 and a 1.38. We'll see what that way Oh, scores. nice. Bed player yeah. up and riding. All right, bed player maintaining to hold his rail and edge into the water. Uh, that's not a typical maneuver of Ben Player right there, but as you can see, he was trying to force something at the end of that wave. If not, look at this thing coming down on him. Oh, <laughs> I think he actually got under that second shock wave right there, so he's good. But uh, Ben Flair was able to maintain his rail, but not really getting a high-scoring wave on that one. Yeah, that inside has been continually mean to the competitors so far this week. And uh, no different for the top-name riders here at the Itaquachera Pro. Yeah, I got to give huge props to the trialists of day number one. It's, it was the biggest, it was the heaviest, it was the messiest. And some people got pounded that day. I mean, people were throwing up after their heat on the beach from just exhaustion. Uh, others were just getting pounded on the ground. And uh, that day, if you made it past one heat, you had to go back out there again. And we saw people do that two or three times that day. And I got to give huge props because that's a lot of energy and a lot of willpower that they had to face. And a shout out to the top eight that actually made it through, or top seven uh, trialists that made it through into the main event. Yes, definitely much respect to those guys, especially the trials winner, Sergio Luis, who we will see coming up later today, um, along with the Brazilian wild cards. Uh, we have uh, seven trialists, all from Brazil, uh, three Brazilian wild cards that are locals here at Itaquachera. They will be joining the top pro riders in these heats for round one. Um, there you can see current situation out in the water. 17 minutes remaining in this heat. Round one, heat number one of the main event. Look at that thing. It's a, a wave positioning. You got to be in the right spot. Wave selection. These guys are just stuck in that rib current right now. And, and you saw Ben Player and Jared Houston's wave. They had to struggle to get down the face of the wave and ma maintain their rail in the face of the wave. And Ben Player taking a look at this one. He's kicking. He's pushing. And here he goes, dropping in. Ben Player drops in, drives off the bottom, trying to get around the section, but bumpy, foamy water not really working with him on that one. So he's going to kick out and paddle back out. These are really tough conditions, even for the top pros. Um, it's going to be a challenge all day for everybody. There you can see him ducking under that one. Again, you can see on the inside, it's just churning foaming water. When, once that wave breaks, 
it's a washing machine in there. We've seen guys getting ragdolled repeatedly in there. Well, we got to give props to to the the competitors and to the viewers who are tuning in where it's the wee hours of the morning. I know uh, we just heard Port Macquarie. It's just over midnight, and there's a couple people who are going to tune in for an all-nighter. Jazz Whittle and Daniel Bird holding it down in Perth. And Michael tuning in from Durban, South Africa, brew shop. <laughs> All right. So uh, look at this one coming through, Manny. And Daniel Ferreira from Brazil up and riding one of our trialists looking for a section. Oh hits, oh, hits a nice, nice clean roll off of that section. Oh, he's pumped. He's claiming it right there. He knows that he needs that first solid wave under his belt, and that could have been it. He's on only has one wave of a 1.5. Again, top two waves will be scored. But uh, Danielle, he will clock that in at his first uh, high-scoring wave. It's got to be a little intimidating for him out there. 16 years old, and he's going up against a two-time world champ and a couple of uh, guys who have pretty s healthy experience on the world tour. Uh, I mean, if you're coming in and facing off with guys like Ben Player and Jared Houston, uh, you know, some veterans on the IBA world tour, and you come in as a, a trialist at 16 year old. You got to just put everything aside and just remember it's a contest. Yeah, you've almost got to have blinders on going into this and no room for being starstruck. Yeah, exactly. Because if you do that, you're going to be in awe as you're paddling out as Jared Houston or Ben Player does a huge backflip in your face. So you got to tune all of that out and just go out and do what you know. Look at this monster. You there taking a look at that one. That one just doubled up oh and my. multiple lips ripples <laughs> up the <laughs> face. Angry, foamy monster, people. <laughs> I would not want to be in front of that thing. And what's happening is because all this water is finding a way back out into the ocean, the current will pull you into the rip current. It's going to be hard to get out of that thing. And the way to get out of a rip current is to paddle horizontal with the beach. And these guys have to do that because if they start paddling in from within the rip current straight in, they're just expending energy. Look at this. Down the beach, Ben Player. Ben Player up and riding. Hits a nice roll, comes down, gets a little cover up as that thing threw over him with the backwash hitting it. And then he's going to pull out on that one, paddle back out to the lineup. It's very, very difficult to maintain your rail as you come and bouncing down that, that wave. Uh, ben Player showing you how it's done by maintaining his board on the water. That's where you're going to maintain your speed and be able to come up and do your maneuver. So Ben Player, another solid wave right there. He's going to take a little break in that rip curve. Look at how much water is churning out there. Yeah, and for those of you who have never been out in the water and ridden a wave with a lot of foam on the face, it makes it very difficult to hold your rail in the face of the wave, and it breaks down your speed. It makes it very difficult to maintain control. Here we have a replay. All right, Ben Player coming straight off the bottom. Nice, clean roll right there. Lands in the froth, and you can see him just holding on to that board, maintaining that rail and able to pull off a nice clean roll in the frothy section of that rib current. Jason, Jason Kimshaw and the WeBodyboarding.com crew are tuning in from the UK, and they are pumped. And we are, too, here watching some of the best riders in the world in some of the heavy conditions. I mean, if this was your beach, would you paddle out there on for a free surf? Jackson? Right now, probably not. Uh, <laughs> the reason why I wouldn't is because my board and fins are not here, but... I think I'm going to go back. We'll we're going to body serve this later on today. I'm down if you're down, brother. Actually, I'll take my body board out and pull into one barrel and call it a day. <laughs> All right. And we have some scores dropping. It looks like it looks like Daniel Ferrara, uh, Ferreira got a 5.25 on that last wave. So uh, it doesn't really improve his position any. He's still sitting in third position. He needs to replace that 1.5 for his secondary score. And... Uh, as of right now, you're there, Luciano in the yellow jersey, currently sitting in fourth with only one wave under his belt, a 1.13. Jackson, I just got word that we are ha we do have we have to give props to Net, the company that's sponsoring this event from here in Brazil. We do have sh two streams going up. One you can watch in HD on your PC or your Mac, or now you can also watch on your phone. So check it out. If you're on uh, watching right now, send your tweet, send your Facebook post, or do whatever you have to do to send it out to your buddies and get them all watching right now because there's some crazy bodyboarding action going on here at the Itaquachata Pro, sponsored by Pride, Yusuke.com, and our internet provider, Net. And there you can see another set rolling through Eder getting over the top of that one before it broke. 
and oh, <laughs> oh my, just unloading, spitting. I mean, you can see the sand dredging off the bottom on these. I mean, this is some mutant shore break conditions today. You're going to hear me saying it again, but I'm making the comparison of what I've experienced. And it looks like Puerto Escondido combined with the wedge all in one. You got the hollowness, the beach break, the heaviness of Puerto Escondido, Mexico, combined with these awesome wedges uh, that we see in California's The Wedge coming together here in the middle part of this beach. And uh, there are some gems coming in, but you got to be in the right place at the right time when those sets do roll in. Question for you, Manny. You've ridden the wedge quite a bit through your years. Um, what's the worst wipeout you've ever had at that place? My worst wipeout was my first session out there, and I just got, I, th I was sitting on the peak, paddle, tried to paddle into it, and I just saw this monster just forming underneath me, and I pulled back, and I said, I'm out of here. Next thing I know, I'm going over the falls on like a 10-foot shore break, and I am said, okay, check, please. And uh, I've seen a couple of that, a couple of those in instances happen right here at the Itacuachata Pro during the trials event, too. It's pretty scary. Oh, yeah, once again, we have the webcast crew right next to us. It is going crazy over there, people. I well, think we need an exorcist in the, uh, the control room. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. It is crazy. I wish I could show you guys what's going on next door. But you know what? Those guys are holding it down. Nothing is uh, happened. Just... Uh, Woo! All right. Craziness in the webcast production room, and we are waiting for some waves to come in out the back. So, you guys, thank you all for tuning again one more time to round number one, heat number one of the main event. Ben Player in the red jersey, taking a look at this one. Ben takes a look to the left. Goes. Uh, sorry, Manny. I just uh, tripped over my own tongue. He looked one way, went the other, and then ducked out. That one wasn't working either way. And there you can see the rest of the riders out in the lineup. To touch back on what you were just saying, I've got a world of respect for the guys in the control room. Ren and the boys, they've been dealing with a lot since we got here. And you know what? Through it all, here we are. We're, uh, we're up and running, and we're full on go for round one here today. It's been pretty hectic, ladies and gentlemen. Manny V here and Steve Action Jackson holding it down. And uh, uh, we're pretty fortunate of all the rooms that we have here on the second story of the scaffolding. Uh, the <laughs> webcast crew <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> picked the wrong room to uh, set up their entire thing. But these guys are set up right here on the beach. And then uh, it's uh, uh, hopefully there's not another windstorm or rain coming in. But man, what a difference when the sun comes up, comes out, and when it's cloudy and windy. I mean, look at these, they're a little chilly. Even though we're in the tropics. There's uh, a few people that are a little cold right now. Well, keep in mind, this is winter down in Brazil. Even though we're, most of us are in shorts and T-shirts, it's winter down here. So it's rainy season. It's windy. I mean, yesterday it was so windy. Manny and I stuck around here yesterday afternoon, and it was so windy that it was rattling the structure. Manny was here for a couple hours playing you riding. And yes. we th at times thought the wind was going to blow the windows in here in the webcast booth like it did next door in the uh, broadcast <laughs> booth. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We're winding down. Heat number one, around number one. Ben Player still holding on to that first place lead he's had since the beginning. Jared Houston, he's looking for a 5.68. Again, round number one is not uh, is a non-elimination round, which means first two riders will go to round number three. Set third and fourth will move on to round number two. Daniel Ferreira and Eder Luciano, those two guys are looking for a 3.0. Daniel is looking for a 3.01 for their second place spot. Eder Luciano, 6.43. And uh, Eder Luciano, he can totally pull it off. He just needs the wave. Yeah, right now he's got two low scoring waves he wants to improve upon, but he just hasn't had the luck. Uh, it's been said a couple of times here in the last few days, I believe you were saying it on the beach yesterday, you almost have to have the wave come to you. There you can see the beautiful oh surroundings my, here at Itaquachara and Niteroi. Absolutely gorgeous. It's paradise here. It looks like th the scenery looks like that's where they filmed uh, Jurassic Park. It has that that ominous, just massive feel to it. And uh, this place is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, right here on the shore, you've got mountains. You've got tropical jungles. It's unbelievable. <coughs> There's so much to see around here. Um, here in Niteroi, it's very well known for its art and its architecture, but it's also got beautiful beaches, um, 
amazing scenery. It's, it's definitely some place you would want to look into to visit, not only for its waves, but for its culture as well. This place right here is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I uh, did some studying on uh, Itacoachera, and uh, in 1940, when people started moving here, two people, two guys, Matias Sandri and his buddy Francisco Feliciano, Felicio, own this entire area. Can you imagine that? Uh, owning half of paradise right here with a buddy of yours. And uh, now here we are with uh, the suburbs of Itacoachera. And it is unbelievable. So if you ever head down to Rio de Janeiro, make sure you put Itacoachera on your checklist of beaches to visit. You will not believe the landscape. It's unbelievable. And just to clarify real quick, um, Rio is kind of like New York in the fact that it's the name of the city and the state. And Itacoachera is located within Itaco is located within Niteroi. Niteroi is about 24 miles to the north of Rio de Janeiro City in the state of Rio. And up oh and riding, oh a couple oh of riders oh looking for that one. This one's going to stand up and heave. That was a perfect e example of how much power and how much water and how fast it's moving onto the shore. I mean, you had Jared Houston and Danielle Ferreira trying to get into that, but there's the, the swell moves in so quick. You have to be in the right, right place. Uh, uh, to get down into, that was a perfect example to see how much power and how fast it's coming in from the straight out of the Atlantic. Once again, everybody, Manny V here with Steve Ashton Jackson giving you the live feed of the 2012 IBA World Tour stop number four, I believe. Oh man, Stop I number four out of eight, yes. Okay, the Ita Quachada Pro, sponsored by Pride. Usekit.net and net. No, usekit.com. I did that again. Usekit.com and net. Here's what we're looking at for heat number two, round number one. There you can see Pierre-Louis Costas coming in ranked seventh, the defending 2011 world champion. He will face up against Jake Stone, Alberto Bruno, and... Leonardo Costa. Leonardo Costa coming to us via the trials, one of the trialists making it into the main event. He hails from Espirito Santo in Brazil. That's north of here. Um, currently ranked first in the Confederation of Brazilian Bodyboarding. So uh, you've got some World Tour heavyweights going up against some Brazilian heavyweights in this. Another, basically every heat with this showdown format is stacked. I mean, you're going to have the top 24 waiting patiently for the wild cards and the trialists to face off and you're going to see where they're, they're, you know, how they're feeling. A lot of guys have been waiting, but we've seen a lot of guys actually uh, free bodyboarding down the beach. Ben Player, and, uh, Ryan Hardy, and a few of the other guys were actually getting in the water during these conditions just to keep the muscles loose. And it's going to be very interesting on how everything pans out. But look at three minutes remaining. Yeah, it's coming down to the three minute mark and Ben Player still maintaining that lead on, lead on the strength of a six and a 4.55. Jared Houston in second, Danielle Ferreira currently in third, and here he is up and riding. Uh-oh. Oh, look at this. Big roll right there. He's just uh, putting some distance between him and the flats. He's going to hold on. He's trying to hold on right there. Oh, he cannot hold on to that. And that was Danielle Fiera. He's stoked on that. And I saw this at El Gringo at the Arica Chilean Challenge. He was just throwing his body up and over and just holding on in the shallows in Chile. And here he is doing it again. Oh, my. Here's the replay. Daniel dropping in. Bottom turn. Sets his line. Look how Inside high Inside section. Is. Perfect. Projects. Sets for the landing. And he had a hard landing on that. That would have been hard to hold on to because he, as soon as you land hard, you got to hold on. And this whitewash is going to be coming in fast. Uh, right on you, and you got to hold on, and unfortunately, he couldn't hold on. Jared Houston. Jared Houston up and riding on this one, driving off the bottom, heads up to the top, carves, re tries to reset his line. Here he's going to hit a roll on that <laughs> little side wave. Uh, again, kind of like the wedge, you've got a little side wave coming off the rocks there. It's going to be hard for the judges, because he's pretty far down there right now. I think the judges have a view of that, but uh, there is an area where the judges set up the contest area. If you get outside of that contest area, you may not be scored. Here we go, up and riding. You there, Luciano, the Brazilian, up and riding in the yellow jersey, driving down the lo line. Oh. The Lomi section goes to hit off the top oh, and no. loses the handle. And uh, that's not what he was looking for. That's not going to help improve his fourth place position right now. Look at the frustration in his face right there. You can just see that 
He is not only bummed that he did not pull that maneuver off, but uh, I'm going to say he's a little embarrassed, too, because all of his boys are watching on the beach. And for him to do a maneuver, attempt a maneuver like that in, these, in that situation, it's just, uh, it's, I'm, I'd be crushed, too. I mean, he's losing right now in fourth position with a very low scoring weight, nothing over two. And uh, we're going to see all these riders again, either in round number three or round number two. Top two will go into round number three. Third and fourth in this heat will go into round number two for one last chance. 50 seconds remaining. Ben Flair still holding on. Jared Houston, look at the scores. Not really high scoring waves. So everybody standing by to go out in the next heat should take note. Yeah, right now it looks like Ben Player and Jared Houston are in pretty good position to move on to round three. Meanwhile, 